Hello and within this video we're going to look at building, tapering and modifying. First I'm going to maximize my perspective viewport. I'm going to create a box. I'm going to draw that and extrude it. So to be able to apply tapering modifications to our box we need to ensure that there are more segments than just one. So I'm just going to add in some values. And I'm also going to copy the shape and paste. So one of these boxes I'm going to right click and go to convert convert to an editable poly. Okay so now that this is selected I'm going to experiment with taper so if I go to modifiers, parametric deformers and down to taper and you can see that this has created something really interesting within our viewport. Uh, Okay, so I'm going to maximize the perspective viewport and you can see if I change the taper parameters, it can take on a completely different form. Now that's me going into negative. If I go up into positive, you get the mirrored effect on the other side. And if I'm adding a curve, you can see that it gives a concave effect to the taper. Now that was me switching to a different taper axis to get those shapes before and this is switching to the Y. If you type symmetry it's going to mirror the top to the bottom and here you've got limits which adds like a rib effect now if I'm to apply the same parameter deformer under the modifying tab and select taper you can see that it tapers the entire shape now we won't have as many parameters or different shapes that we would be able to create with the box or the, the shape on the left because we added an editable poly surface, that highlighted red surface within the middle. So this is what we can do and we can change the taper amount. And we can have it beveled off the ground. Thank you for watching my tutorial on modifying with taper.